Hello and welcome to Wildly Basic. I'm Denise McLeod. And always, I'm Whitney Hunt. And today we have a very special guest who I have not really met yet. I've seen you yes, out we have there seen at concerts in the park, but I have not met mm-hmm. you. So now we have yeah. the executive director of the Waterford Area Chamber of Commerce, Nikki Tippett. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I like your name, first here. of all. Thank you. Okay. Yes. It's queen, like a rock star Double name. letter queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do like it. So... Uh, you have some pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, oh, very oh, big shoes. You took over Marie's position. Yes, I did. How's yes. that going? Like, it's going pretty good. It's very busy, but good. Uh, it's good. Uh, we we've spent the last three years working together. So, and before that, I was on the chamber board. I was a chamber ambassador. So, so you know the kind of ins and outs already of what's going on. Right, right. Good. So that helped with my transition into working for the chamber, and then. Um, um, and then Marie and I just, you know, really kicked it into high gear once I started working at the chamber. And she taught me as much as she could of everything she knows because it's a, a lot, lot of right? stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's oh, still yeah. around if you need her, right? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. She's in the office today. So she does our bookkeeping. And, Excellent. Um, and, you know, if I have any questions, she's there to consult. So mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not all on my own yet. But yeah. Um, but the, the the decisions are mine, and I'm, I'm the face of the chamber. That? How are you feeling? <laughs> it feels good. It yeah. feels good. Yeah, I feel like I'm coming into it, mm-hmm. and and I'm enjoying it. It's it's really what um, I discovered. My passion is. It was hard to find that for a while, and um, once I was a part of the chamber with the bank I worked for, oh, I was gonna um, ask. it yeah. kind of it kind of cleared everything up, and I was like, "This is so what I meant know to how do." It works and mm-hmm. How important is the chamber to you? Do you think? I mean, to me, it's very important. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we are kind of a, a keystone in the community. I think any chamber is, and and they should treat themselves as such. It's. You know, it's not just about business in the area, even though that is a large component of it. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, we, like we just had our state of the township address and that brought together OCC and Waterford schools and and the Waterford township Mm -hmm. community. And it just, it really brought everybody together. And so I think with the chamber doing that and, and being a part of that, it, it really makes it a big part of the community. Right, yeah. because you're networking together, which is awesome to have right. uh, organizations and businesses and school district, which is important. Mm-hmm. The township yeah. work together <clears throat> as a team. Right, kind exactly. Of, in a way, so so that's pretty cool. Yeah. It is cool. <laughs> I I love it, and you know, it's it's all of the the key parts of the community, and, mm-hmm. and businesses play a big part in that, and and the chamber is kind of the the one stop for the businesses. So, gotcha. um, you know, it brings together business, it brings together schools, it brings together the municipal end of it, so. Right. Um, so does, does the um, chamber have a mission statement at all? It does. Mm-hmm. I don't know it word <laughs> okay. for word, but well. it's basically, you know, supporting our local businesses for the vitality of the community. And it's non-political. Right. It is very non-political. Okay, yes, good. we are. We are Sweden. We are neutral. <laughs> we are very yeah. neutral. We are very <laughs> neutral. <laughs> and yeah. uh, if you join, you get. I know there's a newsletter mm-hmm. that you can do monthly articles. You can and do. You can articles. put in your uh, things that you're doing, your um, events and stuff that's yeah. happening. Yeah, events, press releases. Uh, we do sell ad space to help us pay for the newsletter. Mm-hmm. So. Um, there's all of that. We have uh, social have media. Directory. You have, we yeah. have a directory. Yep, you, you can buy discounts if you join. Mm-hmm. Discounts to other businesses, and uh, um, you also have nonprofit organizations as part of Correct. the chamber. So you yeah. don't really have to be a pro- for profit to be part of the chamber. You don't. Right. No, just right. a and business, a business, an organization. Um, we have you know municipality sectors of the municipality that mm-hmm. that are a part of it so we have you know the the township supervisor is a member the clerk is a member uh the fire department the police department parks and rec they're all members so, so you're that, like the ultimate networking place to go networking mm-hmm. promotional uh yeah just kind of a all-around now helper if, or, if i have a business but i'm not part of the chamber can i still can I still benefit in some way or no? I mean, 
you can benefit from like if I have if I'm doing an event and I'm promoting it, but I'm not a part of the chamber. The chamber uh, expands the reach okay. in which you can promote it. Okay. So um, I I kind of describe us when I'm addressing a potential member, and I'll say, you know, the chamber is a, an arm of your marketing department. So we can advise you, we can help you design ads, we can put it out on our social media that expands the reach because not only do we have other businesses that follow us, we have community members and, um, you know, people even outside of the area that Mm -hmm. follow us. So, um, so, you know, we put it there, we have it on our website, um, having links on our website helps with their SEO because Google likes to see when your link is on other people's websites. So right. it's, it's kind of a, an all encompassing promotional. Okay. So you, <laughs> so if you're a non-member and you are a new business and you know, you're putting all your money into your new business and stuff, and you don't think that you can afford a chamber. Um, how much is a chamber? So a new chamber membership is $225, okay. and so, it's a flat rate. So. Okay, so okay. you feel, if you feel like you, you can't just put that money out because you just put all the money you have into a business. We'll work with you. Okay, you will. You will <laughs> we work. will. We can work out a payment plan. We can, we can figure something out mm-hmm. because... Being a member of the chamber when you're a new business, I think, is pretty crucial. Uh, right. We do ribbon cuttings, grand openings, like I said, the promotional end of things. Um, we have relationships that, you know, will help with so a you're new networking. Correct, and, and networking you and you go to one of your coffee nights or whatever that you have, and mm-hmm. you can literally meet and ask questions of other business people. If you're having issues in certain things, they could help you. Correct. Plus, you guys have uh, speakers that come, too, sometimes, right. don't you? Yep. I mean, I know COVID probably stopped a lot of that, but you guys do have speakers that come in. Yep, we're getting back into that more. And, mm-hmm. and all that stuff, um, so that's pretty cool. Yep, we actually we have a luncheon coming up on March 31st at Overtime mm-hmm. with, um, her name is All, Sh- All Social Jessie, mm-hmm. and she's going to go over Canva for businesses. So Canva is a design program you can use to create oh, ads and I graphics. Have, I want to try that because I've heard of it. Cam- we use Canva a lot at mm-hmm. the Chamber. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Is that a free it. program? It is a free program. You can upgrade, which we have upgraded because mm-hmm. um, you get bored of some of the fonts sure. that you have to use as part of the, the sure. free programming. But, right. um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good program, and, um, you know, a lot of organizations do use that free part of it. So right. yeah. um, it's good to know what all you can get for you know, that program and, and how you can utilize it best. So very cool. Yeah. Did you ever <laughs> see yourself where you're at right now? Did you ever like I did go, not. Someday <laughs> I will be the executive director of a chamber of commerce. Did you ever see yourself that way? You know what? I don't think anybody I've ever <laughs> met in the chamber world has ever said that that they wanted to grow up to be a chamber executive right. well okay um, i get that but, yeah <laughs> okay because the community community in cities and townships are important mm-hmm. to help each other out so were you a community person then Did yes you, you yes, were always okay yep i grew up in waterford and i was always volunteering and and a part of the community, Mm -hmm. Um, even through college. My mom worked at the Waterford Senior Center, and so if I had a day off and they were short, a driver for Meals on Wheels, Mm -hmm. I would get a call from mom and, you know, hey, we need somebody. And then you did Blessings in a Backpack. I did do Blessings in a Backpack. Yep, Mm -hmm. I did that when I was um, with the bank Mm -hmm. and uh, segued into the chamber. Um, Mm -hmm. I've, I've unfortunately had to step back a little bit just because of, the chamber, um, but uh, but they're in good hands. So excellent. Yeah. When I first went to college, I was yeah. in marketing, mm-hmm. but then I decided that it wasn't the path for me. So I went into teaching. I was an English and history teacher for oh, sixth through twelfth grade. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it was right at the time though that the economy kind of went down. Is that 2008? Oh, yeah. 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 I graduated in 2006 from college. So, um, so the schools were already feeling yeah. the decline and, um, 2008 was kind of the pinnacle of all of it. So, 
uh, it, it was really hard to find a job here in Michigan, and I didn't want to leave Michigan or mm-hmm. really the Waterford area. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I went into banking, and I I didn't enjoy banking. I loved the bank that I worked for. I worked for Clarkson State Bank, which is now Waterford Bank, mm-hmm. and uh, it it just wasn't for me. It wasn't my personality, but. You know, I still worked hard at it. But you still right, got right. something from it. You still yes, I yes. Mean, it's you, that's where you found out the ch- about the chamber. Correct. Mm-hmm. And sometimes yeah. when you have jobs you don't particularly like, <clears throat> you do walk away with something that of value that you can use in the next, the next job or the next oh, organization yeah. Yeah. you work Definitely. in. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it it really helped my business persona grow. Sure. So you know, I had the educational component and kind of the people component, and right. then. You know, the bank brought in the business right. component of it. And you're a teacher, right. so yeah. you're good at teaching, obviously. I, yeah. I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> you're, good at handling, yeah. you're good at handling children. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. works in the business world sometimes. It does. Oh, yeah. It does. Sometimes you do need to, you know, create yeah. the lesson plan and be sure. flexible with it and sure. hold some hands. But, you know, that's what we're here for. So Excellent. Sure. So, um, what are your ideas? What are your – what do you have coming up? Future for, goals. Yeah. Like for the spring and summer? So for spring and summer, um, well, we have our our events coming up. So we have the uh, Support Local Expo that's going to be at the Oakland County Farmers Market on May 18th. And that is just an opportunity for businesses to showcase themselves with not only the other businesses that participate, but with the community as well. Um, We've always had a uh, really successful expo, so I'm hoping right. to continue that trend. Mm-hmm. Um, last year was hard. and yeah. You guys did it at the farmer's sure. market. Yep, we did it at the farmer's market last right. year. That was the first year we've done it at the farmer's market. Mm-hmm. Typically, we've been here at Mott in yeah. the gym, but um, last year, uh, last year when we had our expo, it was just after the mask mandate had been lifted for outdoors. Right. So, um so we decided to have it outdoors last year for safety's sake. And um, as a board, we voted to continue having it outdoors for this year because we didn't really know what to expect when it came to um, planning for events this year. So we erred on the side of ca- caution and, and sure. decided to have it outdoors again. I right. heard it was right. good. So it yeah. was good. Yeah. I thought it was good. Um, a lot of our businesses got some great leads on right. whether it was employees or um, new business. So, so it, it was, yeah. it did work. Yes, excellent. it did work. So that's excellent. Yeah. Yep. And then, um, of course, we have our concerts in the park. I was it's gonna free, say. Yes. free concerts in the park. So what I was going to say was, so you're looking, f- are you, you're looking for an audio person. We are looking for an audio person. Who knows uh, what they're doing. Yes. Who knows what they're doing that because run, Lord knows I do not know <laughs> what I'm that doing. That can help run the, the audio portion, you know, to take care of the audio of those concerts. Those are excellent yeah. concerts, by the way. Oh, they're great. I and I'm not just saying concerts. that because the broadcast. Yeah, you're not just saying yeah. 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 broadcasters come in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't throw that spot I mean, in the there. the broadcasters were there you know, a couple but, of years mm-hmm. in a row. But, but no, it is a great event. It was fun. It was. It's a good time, and uh, and it's nice to see all the people out there. Mm-hmm. You know, seeing a lot of people. Well, geez, last year you guys had about four hundred plus people out yeah. there. Oh wow, there were a lot of people. You guys were at a good one too. We, we were. You yeah. were. I uh, probably XL. at our busiest. Yeah, two XL was the mm-hmm. headliner, and you yeah. guys opened. We and opened them for them twice so far. Yep. Um, so yeah. I we're hoping for a repeat this year. I just need to reach out and. Sure. Um, you know, getting things into place and sure. all of that yeah. stuff. So now, you who helps good. you with that? Does anybody, does any organizations, doesn't the Parks and Rec help Parks and Rec you? does help us with that. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're really, um, they're really important in that they, they help us with the park. They get volunteers for parking and, um, and, you know, help with setup. Farmer John is great. Right. Um, Tori's great. So, mm-hmm. you know, just working with them to kind of get things all set up and figured out. Are and, you um, by any <laughs> chance looking for any vendors for this year or no? Because this would be the place to say it. If I mean, are. yeah, we need sponsors for all of our events. Okay. That's what kind of creates well, I mean, our like budget. Food people, food trucks? Or we are looking for food for a couple of the concerts. Okay. Um, we do have a beer person. We have uh, Doug Newbeck from Rustic mm-hmm. Leaf. Okay. Uh, he's going to be providing alcohol at the concerts we have food I at. I always like that. So. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right? <do>. Yep, barbecue <laughs> Brew. Yeah. yeah. So um, we do have Billy's Tippin' In lined up for oh, a couple They're of the concerts. Okay. Yep. Excellent. So, um, so yeah, we're just kind of 
plugging away and getting everything scheduled. Um, but I mean, we do need sponsorships. Sure. Yeah. Um, that's it's a great community opportunity to get mm-hmm. your business out there. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, depending on the sponsorship level, you can have a table at the concert and hand out mm. information yeah. and and all of that. For so, sure. I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so if they're uh, looking to sponsor you, how can they contact you for that? They can call us at the chamber. So the number at the chamber office is 248-666-8600, or they can email me, Nikki T at waterfordchamber.org. And that's with any chamber questions. If they're a community organization and they aren't sure about how to go about something, um, you know, if if they're a business and they want to get involved or if they are a member and they haven't been involved for a while, uh, we do have a membership orientation that is for everybody to come, whether you're a member, a non-member, a community organization. It kind of gives a baseline of what the chamber has to offer for all of our members. And that's um, March 16th at the public library. Awesome. So, Those are cool, I heard. They are cool. Yeah. We provide yeah. pizza. Je- actually, hey, Jets, Jets Pizza right. provides the pizza. We oh, just we pick Jets. it up. So. Right. <laughs> Jets is our favorite pizza. Yeah. We were good. hoping someday they might sponsor this show, but we'll we can't say that, can we? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well yeah, I know the people sweet. to get you in touch with if you would like to ask. Okay, good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's what we want to know. Yeah, see, that's, that's what that's, the chamber does. That is, you we ask are a resource. And it yeah, it's we are magic. a resource. If you Correct. need something, we will find somebody to help you. Now, do I have cool. a question which might get cut out. I don't know. But um, are you guys taking over movies in the... Uh... Movies Under the Moonlight. Yeah. So we've always partnered with the Waterford Coalition for Youth for Movies Under the Moonlight. Mm-hmm. Um, what we did this year uh, due to the dissolution of Waterford Coalition for Youth is we partnered with Waterford Parks and Rec. Okay. Um, they had their block party last year to celebrate their 70th anniversary, and they had a lot of good feedback mm-hmm. on that. And the block party is kind of similar to what we do for the activity portion of the Movies Under the Moonlight um, part, part of the event. Mm-hmm. And um, and so we've partnered with them, and hopefully we'll have a lot of fun activities. We did rebrand it. It's going to be called Movie Palooza this year. Excellent. Nice. Yep. Uh, we don't have our movie picked out yet, mm-hmm. but um, my daughter is pushing really hard for Kung Fu Panda 3. Okay. Uh-oh. So, um, I mean, I'm a fan, too, so that's that will hopefully how, be the How movie. do you pick movies for that? Like, do you do a vote with the public, or? Um, I was going to ask. It's like, who wants to vote? Yeah. Yeah. So basically it, it's dependent on budget and because you do have to buy licensing oh, for okay. the movie. Yep. Yeah. Um, and just based on what we've done in the past, what's been successful, what hasn't been successful. Uh, last year we picked Frozen 2. Um, but for the most part, it's it's us and, and um, kind of our little committee that we yeah. put together that chooses like the, the movie. movie that so, everybody likes. Yeah. so I'll consider my daughter Grace as part it's of working. the committee. Right. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's working. You guys keep having them. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's popular. for sure. I heard it was pretty popular. Oh, it, it is, and it's yeah. fun. Because yeah. well, we've had the network out there before, and right. I've seen great turnouts. I mean, jeez. Right. Yeah, we've had great turnouts. We had to, you know, cancel during 2020, of, of course, course. Oh, yeah. as we did with concerts, mm-hmm. but. Um, but it is a lot of fun, and we have inflatables and the rock climbing wall from Oakland County Parks. And, and you're back. And we're back. back. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. back. And so come and have a good time. And we're revving and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's waiting. Right. Right. Yeah. Trying to get their volunteers back. Yeah. yeah. Right. Us, yeah. You us, can come back here, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> us social chamber people did yeah. not do well during COVID. Well, mm-hmm. We were very busy. We did a lot of, um, like, relief work and, sure. and stuff like that, you know, just – really getting the information pushed out to, to all hard. of our members. Oh, yeah. to do that because yeah. businesses were hurting and there's really nothing yeah. anybody could do about it. Yeah. Although they had grants, but I'm just saying it had to be hard. Yeah, hard well, a lot of the, the information on the grants, that was our job to yeah. get that pushed out yep. and um, and out to the business it community as yeah. much mm-hmm. as possible. Yeah. I mean, that was, that was a benefit of chamber membership was, you know, they had firsthand knowledge of, some of the grant information, you know, as it was coming out, because we have our relationships with the county government and our state government officials that, you know, we're like, hey, this needs to go out to the chambers and the chambers got it out to the businesses. So yeah, like use people. Yes. Yes. We did too. Yeah. We kept our shows going from home. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do Hello Waterford, which is 
like a new show, which you haven't been on yet, but you will be sometime. I would uh, love surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we kept going. We did it from home. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually did the news reading part, yeah. which we don't normally do, but people were eating that up. They needed information. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they still wanted to know what was happening. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it felt good to do to be able to send information out into the community. Yeah, I yeah, agree. So. It is. At any one point, do the chambers around the area, so not just Waterford or Clarkston, do you guys get together and yep. like market together? So we have um, what's called the Oakland Chamber Network, mm -hmm. and that is just a network of Oakland County Chambers that get together and discuss what might be beneficial for our members. We have um, kind of some regional get-togethers, like our get-togethers nice. are with yeah. the Lake Orion Chamber, mm -hmm. um, Auburn Hills, Pontiac, uh, Clarkston. We do partner a lot with like the Clarkston Chamber, the Lakes Area Chamber, yeah. cool. um, because we have some dual members. So, you know, we, we let our members get some bang for their buck and you know, they can see people from multiple chambers at just one event. That's so, excellent. yeah. Nice. That's a good thing. That's yeah, good. and then okay. there's um, a Michigan chamber. So we are a member of the Michigan Chamber of Commerce. And, uh, do you guys like have a conference? We do. There you conference. Go. Oh, yep. you go. conference, 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 conference. <laughs> um, yeah, that's in uh, October. I went to a chamber executive conference, and mm -hmm. it was just a bunch of chamber executives and mm -hmm. figuring out how to – move forward from what COVID and sure. yep. yeah, yeah and just uh, bouncing ideas off of each other and seeing you know what similar chambers are doing and right. what bigger chambers are doing what smaller chambers are doing and maybe you know how that can fit or help your members so sure. good okay awesome. is there anything else you want to add is there anything coming up oh my up gosh or? anything else anything. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do a song and dance with four members oh we don't want a song okay. and dance no right. um oh my gosh no i okay i just it's an I, excellent place i love people. working there yeah. Very we are friendly. friendly. You um, are located where? We are on Airport Road. We are in the STI building that is across from the big STI building. Right. So right. Um, right next to Petrusha Auto. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where our office is. And you can mostly find us there. Uh, I'm in and out of the office quite a bit, you mm -hmm. know, visiting members. But um, if you call ahead and, and want to meet, you know, I'm more than happy to meet. Excellent. Awesome. Great. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for uh, coming Thank and Thank you for to having us. me. It's nice mm -hmm. to meet you finally. It was nice to yeah. meet you finally. I've, I've heard, already met you. I've heard you <laughs> sing before. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I've met you. Yeah, so you yeah. But anyways, uh, it's really nice to see you, and yes. we hope you come back. I would love to be back. Yeah, I can't wait back. to see what yeah. they have for this year. I know, right? I can't wait. Yep. Can't wait for concerts in the park. Concerts in the That'll park. Fun. And we found yeah. there are five concerts this year. That's right. Yeah. Five Thursdays. It's every Thursday. Yep, it's right. every Thursday yeah. in June. Yep. So yep. Um, right. five concerts. Well, if you need a band, I mean, just let us know. Yep. I've, I've already <laughs> talked to Josh. Okay, I've good. already talked oh, to Josh. Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> All right, not to put you on the spot or anything. But thanks for coming. No, we yes, love thank having you. you guys. So thanks for coming. Appreciate out. it. Yeah. And thanks for having uh, me. Anytime. You can stop by anytime. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All I right. know where you are. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Have a thank good day. You. Thanks. You too. Bye bye. bye.